What up, randomies? This is your boy Gizmo GX, and welcome to week seven of the IBA Little Cup. And this week we are taking on slightly salty, the coach of the Quebec Noity Quicks. Uh, hopefully, I did not butcher that. So in this episode, this is gonna be a very rather special one, as this is going to be how would you say it? It is a voiceover. Uh, this is a voiceover because I just wasn't at home during the time of this recording. So I was just like, my boy, can you just send me your half? And then I'll just do a voiceover and that's how I was going to do it. Now this video has been made in literally the same day that it's being uploaded. So I'm very lagging on those uploads, which I do apologize. I know I should be more on top of my game than that. And so here I am recording this series. Finally, the last two episodes, which is seven and eight. And funny enough, uh... By the time this video goes up, there's going to be like the other three episodes, like for five through six. Also going uploaded along with this one and a Anna draft analysis video, which is hilarious. So yeah, funny, a fun fact, four, five, and six should have gone up during their respective weeks, but I did not have the thumbnails ready, nor the descriptions. And that's all I had to do. And I could have just uploaded it on time, but I forget what I was doing during that time. I think I was reading light novels or I was doing school assignments, but at this point I don't remember. So that's, that's a fun fact for y'all. But anyway, let's go on to the match. Let's see what our boys got. Uh, let's see. Uh, I know for a fact his team was scary because he had one of, oh actually, now that I think about it, when I had this match, I did not even look at his team. I literally just brought a team that I was just like, you know what, this could work because I didn't actually have a team build for this, this week. So I was like, let's wing it. Let's bring a random squad and let's hope for the best. Now, I don't remember because I did see Salty's video and I, I think he mentioned that he didn't team prep either. But I was on the spot and just clicking moves left and right because during this point in time, I was out with my family, which I shouldn't have been doing this match when I was out with my family. Because uh, I felt I was rude throughout the whole entire time. So all I was doing was button mashing. I am not going to lie. I was at, at the beginning. Uh, at this point in time, I was paying attention a little bit, so that's why I threw some Leech Seed. I did all I could to try to take care of the Sand Shrew. So, I believe after this, I saw the opportunity for Stealth Rock. Uh, I don't know if I already did that already. So, did I? Yeah. So, I knew I could have survived one. Wait, actually, I did Stealth Rock already, huh? Oh, no. Yeah, okay. So, then I used Seed Bomb to take out as much damage. Now, it is so effective because that almost took it out. Had I invested more attack, I think I could have one-shot this thing. But I had the Berry Juice kicked in, and now I'm in a bit of a pickle. And what I decided to do here in my short of time uh, attention span was try to see if I could recover enough health from Leech Seed. So, that way, it wouldn't have destroyed me <laughs> so I could have lived and taken care of this or at least uh, taken some damage on it and have another Pokemon at the end just take care of it but guess what life is not like that so I did recover a little bit of HP in my head I thought it was enough to maybe live maybe if I, I was hoping for a low roll or something during that time period but again I was just button mashing so after this I get taken down and blah, I die my boy Trap uh, is gone. The Feral Thorn. Wait, is it? No, it's Feral Seed. And it's gone. And now I move on to the next Pokemon. Now, here is where things really get dicey for your boy. So, I go ahead and decide to send out Goddess, who is my Mantike. And here's what I try to do. I did not realize this. So, my boy is not going to swap out. So, I'm just going to send out Tailwinds? What? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I go for the Tailwind here. I thought he was going to swap out for whatever reason. So he leech lives me and here is where I decide to go and say, you know what, let's set up some Tailwind. Hopefully we can sweep. That's what I was trying to go with. That's why I set up the Tailwind. So hopefully I could do some shenanigans, some confused Ray stuff. So yeah, I, I've i seen, I've been using a lot of Rain Dance lately. So I really, really, really wanted to, how do you say it? Um, change that habit and go for a Tailwind. And hopefully that gives my Pokemon the opportunity to do more on the field aside from Rain Dance that would only benefit Mantike. So yeah. 
So here's what the the most thing I should have not done that I didn't well I didn't pay attention on the screen. So I decided to go for scold, and again I was out with my family just to give you context. So I didn't see what was happening on the screen. So that it got a little bit of chip damage, I guess in my head. I was just like, oh, it got some damage in. And I looked back in the screen. I was like, oh, okay, all right, let me go for scald again. I didn't get a burn the first time around, maybe. So I go for it again, not knowing that it had storm drain. And I was just like, and I look again. And the second time around, no, actually after this turn, and I look at the screen. And I go for scold, and that's when I actually started realizing that it had Storm Drain. So, uh, the fact that I saw his special attack, I was like, I was kind of fearful, but also this, uh, I was fearful, but at the same time not fearful, because I was like, maybe I have a Mon in the back that could take care of it. But I had no Pokemons that could take, well actually, let me look it up right now. Pokemon database, I use that because I love that app. It's coming clutch for me all right Lilip is a rock and grass type so it's only weakness is ice fighting steel and bug now if I remember my squad I had no bug moves I had no steel type moves even though I had a Ryolu that has access to steel uh, I had no ice <clears throat> that's what Manta should have had ice beam wait actually does even oh I had a fighting type what the heck was wrong with me Wait, did, did I even have Ryolu? Okay, I didn't I didn't look at the beginning of the mons that I brought it. <laughs> okay, so that's two down. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Alright. So I don't know who I send out after this, if, if I'm completely honest. Um I send out Tomoya, that's the yeah, the dragon. Uh so that's Bagon. I was trying to go for some dragon dances for whatever reason here. But this thing outsped me regardless. <laughs> so I was a sitting duck at this point. So I pretty much, I uh, in my d d during this point in time, I felt like I was gonna get sweeped by this team. There was nothing I could have done against it. Uh, yeah, there's actually nothing I could have done. So, oh yeah, I was faster. <laughs> and I went for the dragon dance. I don't know what was going through my mind. Really, I don't know why I went for the D dance when this thing is like plus two. I guess because of the confusion, right? And I was trying to hope for the best. But the RNG wasn't on my side. So Tomoya goes down. And that is my third Pokemon. Now if there is Ryolu. I believe maybe I did have access to. At some point that. Uh, like a fighting type move. Which Lily is weak to. So that's something worth mentioning I guess. So I'm actually going to look up Mantec real quick. Bam. Open new team. We'll go. Let's see. Um, hmm. Mantike, Mantike, Mantike. Uh, you don't get Ice Beam, do you? You should get. You get Icy Window. Oh yeah, you get Ice Beam. Hmm, interesting. So I go to and so I go into Meal, aka Esper. Uh, so yeah, I thought Psychic was gonna do the job, but nah. Even though I think I had the Focus Ash on my end, did I? Did I have the Focus Ash? Yeah, I did have the Focus Ash. So Mio had the Focus Ash and still wasn't enough because look at it, how much that did and how much it regained as health. <laughs> yeah, at this point I was just like, frick this, I'm gone and there's nothing much I can do. So Psychic and I knew at this point I was going to get swept and that's basically what it ended up being. And at this point I was just like, uh, it doesn't even matter what I click on, I'm just going to get destroyed. So this is how the Legendary 6-0 happened and it's funny enough that this actually happened here. Because in a previous league, I think it was the RCF, I was battling against Salty and I swept them just as, not as easily as this, I guess. Wait, is it a bug type? Yeah, oh no, it's not a bug type. If it was a bug type, it would have been so ironic because I had a, a Volcarona and I swept them with a Volcarona. So anyways, we got Sukuyomi. Hopefully I did not butcher that name. Please, please don't. Uh, of creators of this character, please don't butcher me. I mean, please don't go after me. <laughs> but yeah, so I sent out Shinx because there was nothing else I really could have done. So Shinx can't do much either. Yeah, I was just a sitting duck at this point. I do not know why I was waiting on my moves. I was just a sitting duck. So now we move on to our last Pokemon on the screen, and that is Makoto. 
Now, Makoto Kuren really do, or Makato, or Makato, whichever you prefer. There's At this point, there was not much I could have done. I believe I didn't have access to any fighting type moves like Double Kick or any Steel moves. I think I had access to Iron Tail, but I don't think I had it on this set. So, that is the story of how we got swept, and that's how we got 6 0'd, and uh, it was my fault, though. <laughs> I should have prepped, and I should have been not at outside my house when I was like my attention span was like 20% <laughs> Lamel. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you guys enjoy this short uh, voiceover. So with that being said, this has been your boy Gizmo and I will see you in episode 8 or I mean week 8 of this season. So Gizmo out. <laughs>